What's up? Crazy MC. Cross the street with Jimbo. My mama falls with the drip, VVS and love sip Couldn't wait to dive in her sexy love shit TLC with her kisses, she winking with her left eye Giving me chills with chilly vibes, deep eyes with her deadly thighs The face situations love leads to from the truth Alright, right, here we go What is good? I'm here today with Crazy MC, what how up, are you sir? Man? What up Jimbo? Mm. Across the street Nice to get you on the show Crazy finally. MC Yep, yep um, we're out here today in Troutdale. Uh, we bumped into him uh, last week at the burrito shop. It's one of my favorite spots in town. Me Come too. by here and get a burrito, yeah. Yep, yep. It's pretty fire. Like, the last place I could think of to spend, like, 10 bucks and feed, like, two people pretty sufficiently. Yeah, the burritos are, like, $6 for the big ones. Mm-hmm. Fire. I eat all the food here. <laughs> um, if you watch the show enough, I do bring everybody a gift. Um, I noticed you got something in your hands there. You probably yep, don't want to yep. be carrying Yep, yep. Some of my drawings. Um, these are copies of drawings that I've done. And wow. I sell them as merch when at shows and stuff. So one's Buster Rhymes. Oh, snap, bro. For the East Coast. And for the West Coast, Ice Cube. These are some of my wow. favorite artists. You those know what are things that you drew those? Yeah, I drew these. Damn, I draw all bro. the time. I've drawn over like 600. Ah, uh, yeah. Little after hours drawers. gift for you. Here you go. Man, that is really great of you, Craze. I can't tell you how thankful well, definitely, I am. definitely, man. Dude, that's super dope. <laughs> He's yeah. even got my hat on. <laughs> I really appreciate that, my friend. Man, I didn't know, I didn't know you were uh, quite the multi-talented person like that. Yeah, man, I went to school for that. You know what I'm saying? I also went to Jefferson Heights, so demo. Go <laughs> demos? Yep, yep. What else are you good at? In North Portland, man, everything. Like, I make beats. Um, I do video editing. Um, I do same type of stuff you do, except for not, I don't have a show. <laughs> right, right. I saw your recent video, too, the waterfall drip there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty dope. Thank you, thank you, thank Fun you. Fun little time. You had our homegirl Jessica in the video with you there, Miss yeah, Jessica yeah. Rose. That's Tommy. What else you got in the Shout works outs. now? Right now, man, uh, I got like five albums working on. Three almost done, one really done. That's the next one I'm dropping. It's called uh, So Unexpected. Um, it's got like 18 tracks on there. Who's it's on got, that one? Man, uh, Cats from the Town, like, uh, well, Low Hall, she... I, X U A S S I. That's how you spell her name. I think it is. Um, she changed the name. We got the song called "Get Your Bag Up." I got a song with uh, um, D3 the Rock Star. Shout out to LBC. Tight. I got a song with Nocturnal from Aftermath with D3 the Rock Star. I got a song with two songs with Chris Calico. Um, let's see with Swiggle Mandela. Right. Shout out to Swiggle Mandela. Shout out to uh, TKC, shout out to Copper Lope, shout out to Criminal Faculty, A Penny to a Million, IMS Records. Where did you record all that at? Um, I have my own studio right now, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing music for like 30 plus years in the town. And um, used to be just a DJ, then I made beats and started recording people in the 90s, you know what I'm saying, the end of the 90s. And then we just, me and Nine Mills started a label, IMS Records, and then, um, we just made albums from there. We made like about 15, 16 albums. Wow, 15 albums? Yep. Wow. Like separately, you know what I'm saying? I got about, this is my seventh album coming out. I got a couple uh, uh, compilations that we did, the Portland Writers, the uh, Northside compilation, because I'm from the North area, Northeast in, in the town. Shout out to everybody in the town though. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And, uh, Liquid Anthrax, all, all these cats, Fade One, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You've been out here a minute, it sounds like. And I know everybody out here, I think. <laughs> that rap. If I don't, man, I'll end up getting to know them. You know what I'm saying? I feel. I feel like I'm a uh, pretty humble guy. You a, you a family man? Yep. I got uh, three kids. One of my daughters uh, live with me. All, the other two live with their moms. Um, my daughter's 18 now, so it's like, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I got an older one, too. He's out doing his own thing. Shout out to Wesley. Love you, son. Oh, yeah, his name's my name, huh? His name's your name, yeah. That's dope. I got a younger boy, too. That's a boy tight Sid. name. <laughs> but Sid, or Wesley's out on his own doing his own thing. You know? I feel that. Um, my family, we also have other uh, artists in our family, like, uh, like I said, Nine Mills uh, and uh, Zany the Mike Smith. He's in Spokane. He's got a okay. group called The Have Nots with Rob Mack and uh, Scando. So them my brothers, my real brothers, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you have family here in town still? Um, yeah, my daughter. Well, I, I never really had a big family. Like, it's only been me, my brother, and my sister. My sister died back in, uh, man, a while ago now, mm. like 2002. 
she had kidney failure, and oh, then God. she uh, she was in surgery, and then uh, her heart failed, and they couldn't revive her. She was 26. That's young. I've been through a lot, a lot of hell, <laughs> but there's a, I always look at the positive in that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mental health is very, very, very recommended in my family, you know what I'm saying? That's been going a big topic nowadays, too. Uh, shout out to Daddy Backwood, Craig Doby, and uh, Yeah, there's camp. the homies, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. they're trying to really Ms. put Deluxe. together a That's little camp. That's my sister. Who is? Ms. Deluxe. Oh, nice. Yep, oh, yep. Nice. Yeah, uh, they put together a little campaign for mental awareness that's been going really well around town, so shout out to them. Shout out to Zane Thomas, too, another good mental health fan. Yep, Zane is the homie, yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> he does uh, good work, and his comedy is funny. He's I love funny, that. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I love Portland artists, man. Isn't it's not cool? just Portland, man. The, the whole Northwest has a vast of dope MCs. It's like we have like all genres here, so we can really branch out if we all came together and like just started working together as artists. Like no egos. You know what I'm saying? That's just it's a big thing to me. But. Uh, Marshall uh, Hugh out there with the Marshall Law Band in Seattle, he said that there was a group of creatives that went out there and got a place together and spent a week together and really made some amazing stuff. So Yeah, man. So you're right. It is possible. It's possible. possible. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You can't let any other people outside influence you. You know what I'm saying? you got to be on your own way. Hey, I'm, I might be older, or old head, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, like, I, I love all hip-hop. East Coast, West Coast, Midwest. I, I chop fast, I chop slow. I'm on my LL Cool J right now. That's how I look at it. Shout out to the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? I've talked to him a couple times, too. Really? Mm -hmm. I had crazy. the opportunity to sit on a couch and smoke a joint with Devin the Dude a couple days ago. Yeah, my sis knows, knows <laughs> Dev. That's tight. Oh, yeah, you went to the... Um, to the uh, uh, Andre Nicotina. Yeah, the Andre Nicotina. Uh, I wanted to go. Real, super good time. A lot like, of fun. Like time be flying in my in my world, and then I I'm like, oh damn, tonight's the concert. You know what I'm saying? Thinking I have a couple days and stuff. No, that was great. Time. We won some tickets, uh, courtesy of Terrence Cool Nuts. Yeah, yeah, that's um, the too. Jamming 1075. Shout so, out to Cool Nuts too. So we went down there and enjoyed ourselves. So we took Birdie with me. We had a great time. It's good show. Good show. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Shout out to. Uh, uh, 50 blackface 503 hashtag you know and being that's my homie you know what i'm saying like yeah you've been on the show yeah i know i, I seen this that was, it was pretty tight we got busted on there's some, some buster ass security guards <laughs> there at that. target <laughs> i see that that's funny <laughs> fucking busters <laughs> yeah well i mean what can you do <laughs> just look at them and laugh like we were mean? messing around in the car before we got here i brought my little op1 um i'll show that little op1 right here. that's my homie too <laughs> I know OP1 too. Yeah. Oh, okay. My guy Scandal, he uh, he helped him with uh, his video with Rakim and stuff. That's the name of the little pocket operator thing that I had, that little drum machine I had in the van there. Oh, that's what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> well, I know a cat named OP1 too. So. What uh, what do you make your music on now? What, how do you make your beats currently, I guess? Well, I have a lot of different ways. I, I have Fruity Loops 20. I got uh, Studio One is like my creative thing. Studio One. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, you could do anything on that. You, I have you could a copy beats. of Studio One Four, I think, in my house, courtesy of Dirty Black. You Man, gave that to me use that shit. Ago. If it's the producer one, use that. Yeah. You can put uh, VSTs in there. You can you can rewire to uh, Reason, to Logic, to uh, all of them. You know what I'm saying? Like I I I mess with all of them. Fruity Loops, Logic, Reason, and just try to get because each program has different sounds sure. and it seems like if i switch and go to logic i make a different style of beat than when i go to like reason so i'm, I'm like okay i like to the e40 type beats to the midwest type tech nine you know what i'm saying all the way down to the like uh the r&b you know what i'm saying um so. from what i understand we're not too far away from these so-called buttons of yours right no no we got some new music all that stuff yeah, yeah. We, we can shoot over there all right most definitely Maybe we'll do that well, uh, we'll cut from the camera here real quick, uh, go past security, and then uh, we'll restart <laughs> this interview back at the lab. For real, all right, mate. Oh, man, we made it back to the lab. What Holy up? goodness, look at this place. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, we just got a chance to listen to a couple songs that he made, uh, the new Swiggle song coming out. That sounds pretty dope. I think people are going to be excited to hear that. Ah, oh, man, I hope. This is what you get to work with here? This is your, yeah, my your craft station? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got your own computer that you said you built yourself. I built right? both of them. This one is a video one. 
Mm-hmm. This one is uh, the audio one. You know what nice. I'm saying? Alright. I just wanna, you know, master my craft. <laughs> Little everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I went to school for multimedia, so. Where'd you go to school at? At PCC. PCC. Yep, yep. Over in North Portland. I lived mm-hmm. in the neighborhood of Piedmont neighborhood in the old Piedmonts. I was one of the original Piedmont kids with with uh Nine Mills and Zany the Mike Smith and a lot wow. of other cats, you know what I'm saying? Wow. No, Dub, you seem to be a hat collector too. You got a nice little hat collection there. Yup, yup. So, oh, you can get some draw there. Look at that. Um, He's all, look at the dude. The complete studio. Down. Complete studio. Oh, get the microphones. Look at this. Yeah, my yeah, mic, so. it uh, glows. It's a, it's a collector's item. It's called the Blizzard. You turn it on. It, oh, okay. It's blue. It glows blue in the chaotic eyeball thing. Yep. So, a bunch of projects have come out of here, it looks like. We were just talking a little bit about, what are some of the people that, other people that have worked out of here? Uh, black, uh, well, hashtag Blackface503, Nine Mills, Zany the Mike Smith, um, me and Miss Deluxe, we've done some stuff, make some beats, um, Copper Loke, uh, let's see, uh, Fade One, um, Jokey and J-Rock, Teflon from CFM. Um, I pretty much tap in with the whole whole uh, Portland, you know what I'm saying? Right. Outskirts, uh, Swiggle Mandela came in here like a couple of weeks ago. We did a song with Chris Calico, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, dope. Well, I noticed you got a show coming up too, is that February 20th? February 20th, the Southwest by Southwest like contest show. I'll show that flyer, bing, right here for everybody to check out. Yep, yep. What's the detail on that show? Um, basically, five people come. Pay 20 bucks, that's one song. So I'm trying to do like at least three, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not really tripping, you know? <laughs> For real. I got a lot of songs, so I just, I'm right now picking, figuring it out. Hey, and you were saying you had like 60 some songs or something, did you say? Man, I got five albums almost ready. Wow. I got three albums of my own personal album, and then I got a couple albums with a couple people. I don't want to just drop, drop it yet, you know what I'm saying? I want to give people like a surprise, but yeah. We've been doing, and I'm coming out with a couple compilations with my guy, Boogie Master L, uh, Grown and Sexy, you know what I'm saying? We're doing a lot of different things. Um, visuals, you said you got visuals coming? Visuals, oh my goodness, for a song called Enough with Copper Loke. Uh, we did Trendsetter before, so we got another song and another uh, video with that. Then we got, um, shout out to uh, Stars of the Bazaar. K9, Epic, I got another song with them. We did a song called uh, Crazy About You. If y'all go check my uh, YouTube, it's on there too. I'll have the links for your YouTube down below so you guys can check out all of Crazy's videos. And yeah, yeah, yeah. The madness that he creates on YouTube. Man, I'm, I'm just trying to get better and better and better and better and better. That's all it is, is mastering my craft. I, I got down everything, so now it's just doing it, you know what I'm saying, and putting it out and, and focusing. Have you had any good success at all during this run as a aspiring artist? Yeah, I've been on tour with King Crooked Eye, with uh, Nocturnal, D3 the Rockstar. I've done uh, major shows like E40 Show and Bend, Oregon. I've done uh, shows with uh, R.I.P. Uh, the Jacka. I was supposed to do like four songs with him, um, but unfortunately, like a couple weeks after I met him, he passed away, and that man, that that really hurt. My homeboy Copper Loke. I've done a uh, production for beats for his album, um, uh, Ghetto Anthem, from the pen to the street. I did like 16 beats on that. And he had like uh, Selly Sale, he had uh, X-Rated, he had um, King George, uh, Looney Colleone, he's had, mm. he has uh, Spice One, I met Spice One, did a couple things with a couple of homies, helped him record with He's that. gonna be here soon, I think Spice is yep. coming to town. Here. My guy Panoy, uh, from uh, Money Muscle Production, man, he's gonna be on there too. Shout out to Panoy, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The dude that's on the um, Waterfall Drip, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, all right, cool. Yeah, 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 he's doing that show. Yeah. Um, I was trying to get on the meal show, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but that went by quick, you know? <laughs> so everybody's trying to get on that one. Um, is the studio open? Is this something that you do for money or is it just a hobby right now? Or um, no, you... no, nah, nah, I, I don't do it for, like, I don't. There's people that, that pay for studio time, but I got to know, you You know what I'm saying? This is my personal space and everything. So in that aspect, we've got to really vibe. Other than that, 
I don't really allow people to come to the studio, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just weird out there, you know what I'm saying? Special access, baby. I got to know people before they come. It's Across not- the street can get you into places like this. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do with the rest of the day? You got anything fun planned out? Uh, really, man, <laughs> like um, just writing some more music. I got a couple other tracks that I want to finish and redo so it comes out right. And um, just mastering, mixing down stuff, you know, just engineer work, you know, right. on that. Um, writing out my next video with TKC. That was supposed to be done today. Shout out to TKC from IMOB, um, IMS, you know what I'm saying? Uh, North Wet, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I know too many people, man. No, yeah, I see that, yeah. So it's a lot of, I'm doing a lot of things, man. That's I just won't stop consistency. That's what, that's what I see, you know? I've been doing this for a long time, helping people out in the town. And they know who they are. And shout out to them. All love. You go by the show, don't tell method, right? Yeah, I, exactly. Well, yeah. like I said, I got a, my own label, a real one entertainment. So I just, I just try to keep it real, man. You know what I'm saying? You seem to be pretty artistic. I noticed you got the little paintbrushes up there. I've been drawing since I was 10. Nobody taught me. Every time I went to like an art class or something, they make me take over. <laughs> And I become like that. It's for real, I get an A in it, and I have my imagination and be like, hey, let's do this and that. And I even had a, a painting from Jeff. I went to Jefferson famous High School. Famous caller? What's uh, that? Famous caller? No. No, no, no. Dang. Uh, Jefferson High School, uh, that's where I went to, to high school, and um, I made a painting, and it got sold at the Oregon Art Museum. So that was dope. And I had uh, donated all the money to Jeff for their program and stuff. That was fun. And yeah, man, I'm just trying to, you know, besides help myself, of course, you know what I'm saying? All right, then what else do you do? You paint, you make music. Do graphics and design, um, make beats. Make beats. Engineer, master. um, Can you scramble an egg? I could do that, I could cook. (laughs) (laughs) I got a daughter, I got got two daughters and a son, you know what I'm saying? You know how to cook then. Yeah, I know how to cook. (laughs) Anything artistic, I know how to do. It, uh, mechanics, I could probably do that, but I really haven't like focused anything on that. It's just, you know, me personally, I like to get into any all art. So I even do my own clothing. You know what I'm saying? Make my own clothing design, and I make the stencils, and then I, I do the silk screen here oh, wow. as the like the demos. But I ended up start uh, doing that because it was quicker than me going and and ordering stuff. You know what I'm saying? And a right. lot of people now are. Since everybody has merch, it, the merch costs have gone up. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like four or five dollars a shirt, it's like ten, fifteen a shirt, mm-hmm. and you gotta you gotta sell it for fifty bucks just to get a, a profit or something. You know what I'm saying? So me personally, I make them by my hands. That means that it's also artwork. You know what I'm saying? So one day they're gonna be worth millions. I believe it. Like you know an NFT shirt. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm starting to study on that, too. I want to see what that's about as well. Tap in with the homie Trevor Ellis. Uh, Okay. We just had the fish chat this morning was blowing up um, with talk of NFT, so. That's tight, because, I (laughs) man, I could draw anything, literally. And um, I'm starting to work on animations and uh, doing that type of stuff, but I'd be low-key not trying to tell people that because I want to get it down before I... uh, before they just it starts popping up like i got three videos that's in the works you know what i'm saying um, and i make the shout characters. out to dre makes waves dre makes waves and trevor ellis actually since we're talking about them they've both knocked off some pretty cool 3d that's animation tight. stuff they're really working that's on tight. that realm so. shout out to that i want to i'm yeah. going to check that out for real yeah those kids are always making me you know chase them if you will but more about just opening my eye to what's available and possible and uh Big ups to those dudes for sure. Facts, facts, facts. You know, man, this has been cool having you on the show. Finally, we got a chance man, to catch up. Appreciate um, that. It well, was kind of funny. We booked him on the show like about a week ago, and then I was at the burrito shop, and I saw him sitting over there in the corner one night. And I was like, I'm gonna text him real quick and say buy me a burrito while we were waiting in line. And, and we I'm did. looking around like, what? <laughs> My eyesight sucks. I got glasses, but um, well, I was all masked up too, and probably never seen me like that before. I was all furry. yeah. You was like, who is who's what the hell? <laughs> yeah, yep, I've seen that. <laughs> uh, it's been great having you on the show today, man. Appreciate uh, once that. Once again, I really appreciate your time. Uh, if there's anything I can do for you in the future, Craze, you just uh, you. you just let me know. Um, go buy my albums. You know what I'm saying? I got six of them 
out there. The last one's uh, Fifth Element and the same year, yeah, Craze. Uh, Chopper Rap, Zero Expected Making Cuts. That's my. That's what my Craze MC stands for. Okay. So I got an album named that, and those two albums got some Grammy winners on there and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, where is that link at? What, what, what link is that? Um, I can give you the link, and you know what I'm saying? It's off of, uh, what is it, uh, HTT. P S forward slash what a di distro kid crazy or MC here oh, yeah. just here now link. but no you, you can go you can go anywhere I'm just messing with y'all <laughs> um, yeah, I'm on all platforms every all right. platform out there so just look up crazy MC and I'm the first one that pops. We'll up. drop his Spotify link down below with yep. his YouTube link um, Instagram handle Spotify's we'll going up I got like over three thousand um, people playing my music every day okay. now it's craziness. Well, the Spotify link below, uh, Instagram handle below, so you can uh, catch up with my mans and all of his activities. Um, other than that, um, thanks for the invite to the studio. I appreciate it. Man, thank you for the invite to cross the street, man. This is a great experience, man. Appreciate Cheers, it. Cheers, friend. Talk to you soon. All right. All right, y'all.